Drugs cheat Daryl Miller is to receive no ban for his actions, taking the steroids that he did, injecting himself, hyping himself up for the fight with Anthony Joshua, going in there to incur harm on his opponent. Okay, why? Why is he not receiving a ban for this? And what is it going to take for them to realise and wake up that someone is going to die in the ring or get severely hurt and someone fail a drugs test after? What is going on? What is the sport coming to if they will not ban someone who has clearly been cheating? Clear as plain as day. I don't know what they are thinking. He needs to be banned. And if they're going to give him no ban, what's the punishment? Is there going to be a punishment? No, they're just going to let him get away with it. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't see what the hell they are thinking. They have to ban him. They have to ban drug sheets. It's just not going to change otherwise. People are going to continue to do it. People out there now, there are boxes there watching this thinking, oh, if I get caught, then I won't get banned anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to continue using steroids and drugs, going in there, punching someone in the head and possibly harming their life. And they're going to be allowed to do it also. I mean, there's no ban. They're just going to continue to do it. If they're risking doing it now, if they think they're not going to get a ban for it, then they're going to just continue to do it. They're not going to stop, are they? So they're just going to continue using and abusing drugs and steroids, injecting themselves, hyping themselves up, and then going into a fight where they could possibly injure or severely damage someone's health going into the ring. What is it going to take for everyone to wake up and realise this is a serious problem? It is a serious threat to fighters' lives, and unless something changes, something unspeakable is going to happen in the ring, and then it will be too late. So I seriously suggest they wake up and realise that drugs cheats have no place in the sport of boxing and they need to be banned. Maybe not for life, okay? Maybe not for life. Three or four years, they'll stop doing it. But if you don't ban them, they're just going to keep doing it. Jaron Miller will probably come straight back, go into a fight and take drugs again. I mean, unless he's being tested by VADA, he won't get caught. I really don't know how they can sleep at night knowing that Jaron Miller has taken all of these steroids and he won't be banned for it. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.